What's up? Keeping it real fishing. Um, let's take a look at some frogs. <clears throat> this is off Tackle Warehouse. This is an interesting one. I like interesting lures. I like innovation. I like when I see somebody taking a chance or doing something different. I don't like bullshit in fishing. I don't like claims that, you know, change one little thing and you know, it's going to catch you more fish. Don't give me that. You know, show me something. So, uh, Paycheck Transporter. Uh, never heard of this company until I saw them on there and then I started googling them and you know they're doing some things they got great names for their bait, their baits uh, this one is the, or the the colors braid breaker and um, damn I can't remember the others but they're all really funky uh, really crazy names that have nothing to do with the color they're just they're just cool so uh, alright so here's the uh, transporter different looking lore right so you got these arms up front you got a popper design. You got a, a tie that's angled down and low. From the bottom, um, fish is going to be seeing those checkers. We got a weight in back. We got a little bit of orange in those rear tails. Size wise, it's uh, kind of on the medium size of frogs, bordering on medium large. And uh, it's got this funky yellow bill. Maybe that helps with sharp contrast who knows so uh... these are all just preliminary videos right here just you know coming up into the fishing season um, i always end up buying a, a bunch of stuff you know seeing what's new haven't tried any of this stuff yet just wanted to throw it out there for anybody who's looking at this and if you want to see see it aside from the manufacturer you know saying how that's the best thing since sliced bread um, I'm not going to tell you that, you know, even if I catch some fish on it, you know, it's if, if it turns out to be great, it turns out to be great, but let's just take a look at it for what it is, you know. So, uh, <clears throat> alright, let's start keeping it real. What I don't like about this lure, the only thing I can really tell you right off the bat, having not fished it, is even though um, in his promo video he says how, oh, it'll hook every fish and everything, this is a really dense material um, in terms of getting it to compress. If you hit it from... Oh, this thing ain't focusing. If you hit it from this side, like where this crease is here, and likewise where that crease is there, if you press there to compress it, it just it gives gives. It just bows. But if you hit it from the top, it's got a lot of resistance. It's got quite a bit of resistance. You know? Nothing, you know, no more than a lot of other baits. No more than a lot of others. But I said a lot of others, I didn't say all others. So um, that's the only downside I could see to this thing right off the bat. Uh, you can walk the dog with this thing really well. And these front legs, from what I see in the video, uh, looks like it's not bullshit. You can kind of keep it in one place and shimmy it around back and forth, keep it in the strike zone. If you got somebody looking at it, maybe a fish that swirled on it. So that's cool. That's cool. Definitely want to try it, see how that works out. Uh, it, it's absolutely totally weedless, that's for sure. And you could pop it. So you got a lot of things going on here. You know, you got a different profile in the water, something new, something the fish haven't seen. You could do the walk the dog. You can kind of keep it in one spot, uh, and you could pop it. So definitely versatility in this lure. Um, it, it, it's firing on a lot of fronts. The only thing I don't like about it, just from first glance here, is I wish this was a softer material, because it's okay, but other companies come out with the real soft stuff that just, I mean, it's common sense. Um, if I have to press this twice as hard as on this, this thing, barely any pressure, and that body just caves. This one, you know, you're figuring it's in a fish's mouth. He's got it. You'd probably be good, but hey, the softer they can get this, the better. So, there's that guy. Cabela's. Fisherman series. It was all set to get a copper's live target. All set, and then I saw this guy. And, um... You know, I'm not afraid to pay a couple dollars for a lure, you, you know, if, if it's a good lure. But um, I actually took this out of the box in the store because my main concern was what I was just talking about with the other lure. I was like, man, is that thing soft? Because I've always said that the coppers are really soft, and I, you know, I felt one, and it was. It's like really soft. And sure enough, maybe coppers make some, and Cabell's just puts their name on it. Because, you know, it's got that real high detail, um, if you're into that kind of thing. Look at those eyes, man. They look like real eyes. Got the little hands on bottom. Uh, this one has a white and a brown. 
and uh, you know, even got the little kind of ridges there on the skin and stuff. So definitely just like a copper's imitation. And I'm glad that you know Cabela's and mainstream guards are doing like the ultra realistic frogs. Look at that angle. Shit looks real. If you hold it like this, right? You know, you go up to somebody like well, I guess you'd have to hold that too, but you know, I think it's a real frog. Anyway. Great thing about this lore, right here, takes nothing to depress that. I mean, just, it's almost like you're breathing on it and it depresses. And look at this side view. You could just imagine the fishes come over it, and I mean, it takes nothing to do that. That's almost no pressure at all. I mean, it's literally half the pressure I got to put into that guy. Just a little bit, and it's just caves. So I really, really like that. Now, you see how that's open down there? Will this take in water? Will this softness, will it, you know, take in water and maybe not float well and sink a little bit? I don't know. I'm not sure yet. Usually, you know, it, you, know you have that hole there, you need to have it so that it can compress, obviously. Um, usually just the physics of air being in a spot on top, the water can't get in. But we'll see how this works out. But my first glance, my first impressions are I love how soft this lore is and I love the fact that it's half the price of the copper's life target. So, so far uh, this Cabela's Fisherman series glass eye frog gets the thumbs up. 5 eighths ounce. Okay, that's going to be it for the frogs. Thanks.